Alright guys, so ever since update 1.03 today, um, I have, there has been a lot of talk about a bunch of nerfs that's happened. So to Sword of Night and Flame, to Hawthrust Stomp, to the Mimic tier a Summon, to um, what else have been nerfed? Uh, I think that is like the major nerf that's happened. Uh, I can't really think of anything else really that's huge enough to even really talk about. Um, maybe Barricade Shield, but that's not really a big one. But anyway, um, I'm going to be giving you replacements for these a uh, couple of items. So for the Mimic, for the Hawthrust Stomp, and for Sword of Night and Flame. Now, you technically don't need replacements for any of them, really, because they're all really, really good. I know some people still might have... Uh, I've seen some people talk about Sword of Night and Flame not doing that well, but I'll give you a replacement for that if you really want it. But um, let me, let, let's have a look real quick. So for the Mimic Summon... Still considered the best summon in the game at the moment. He is still the best one. I don't think that will ever change. But if you do want a replacement, here are a few that you could have to um, replace him if you really wanted to. If he's, you know, doesn't seem that strong to you. Okay, so here are my top three picks if you did not want to use the Mimic Summon. Like I said, you don't have to change. But if you wanted to, to go for something different. Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff, definitely top three. Black Knife, an amazing summon. And also Lutel the Headless, considered the second best summon in the game as well. Now these three are used as well as Mimic uh, summon as well, um, even though before the pre-nerf as well. So anyway, those three considered to be the best, definitely have them if you want to replace. Okay, so a replacement for Sword of Night and Flame. What could you use instead of this one? Obviously, this is considered one of the best swords in the game. I can't actually use it on this character right now. He doesn't have as much intelligence needed. But anyway, for a replacement, you want to go for the Blasphemous Blade. Now, this sword is its a great one to have. It's definitely a very, very, very strong uh, sword to go for. It does a bunch of flame damage and uh, definitely a good replacement for the Sword of Night and Flame. Um, obviously, the Sword of Night and Flame is definitely a fan favorite. This also does, uh, I know Sword of Night Flame does a big area damage, so you can kill multiple people at a time. So this with this one, so you're not going to be having too much of a difference in use. This one definitely does a bunch of damage. Definitely a good replacement if you're looking for one. Alright, so lastly, the Hoffa Stomp. Now what's actually changed with this is nothing major. Um, it still does crazy amount of damage, the only thing that you'll notice really is the speed of uh, you doing it. So you can't actually spam it as fast anymore. So what I would consider to change is really nothing. I wouldn't really tell you to change it at all. It's still really good. Still does a bunch of damage, still does good um, staggering. But if you really wanted a replacement, you could always go for Storm Stomp. Now, same thing. Um, instead of ice, it just does kind of a swirly thing. It does knock back enemies. It does stagger them uh, a bit as well. Doesn't do as much damage, but um, it does stagger them like that. So, that, that I mean, that's one good thing that can come out of it. Uh, but again, you don't really need a, a, a replacement for Horfrost Stomp. Honestly, just keep it. Um, you still won't really see that much of a difference with it, especially after the nerf. Um, speed, yeah, damage, not really. Not really. Um, but again, these are just replacements if you really wanted them. That's all I can think of, really. Um, yeah. Yeah. 